Hey YouTube, Savon Draws here, just making a quick video on how you can customize your Blender UI. So we're gonna go over a few different topics. We're gonna go over scaling your Blender UI, changing different themes, and also adding new windows and changing the position of different things like your toolbar in Blender. So first of all, we'll start off with adding themes to Blender, which is very easy. All you have to do is search up Blender themes basically on Google and you're going to want to make sure you go to this website which I'll link below extensions.blender.org which is the official Blender theme website. From there you'll just download a theme, you click on a theme, click get theme and then you can drag and drop it into Blender. So you can just make this window side by side. And then drag it into Blender and it will automatically install. And as you can see, the theme changes. Then if you ever want to change any of your themes, you can just go to edit preferences. Go to themes. And then you can just select a drop down of all your themes from here. Now, if you ever want to create more windows in Blender, all you have to do is you can, of course, create a workspace here. But if you want to add different things to your workspace, you just go to the corner of whatever window you're in and you drag left or right, whichever direction you want to create a new window. And then, of course, you can create you can change your window to be any different part of Blender you want it to be. Let's say if I want to show the timeline, I could do I could change it to timeline and I can see all my frames here. And if we want to get rid of it, we just hit delete with a right click. Additionally, if you ever want to get rid of a window that you don't need, you can also go to the corner of a window and then drag over till you see this arrow sign and just drag towards the window that you want to get rid of. It will get darker and then you release. And now you just have the window that you need. So as you can see here, I've made different type of layouts that match with how I want to use Blender just by messing around with this. And you can also make windows stay locked with each other. So they'll only move together. Now, let's say if you wanted your tools to be a bigger size, first of all, you can just drag your toolbar to make it have two columns or you can drag it so it's the text alongside the tools. You can also get rid of your tools straight up by dragging it to the left and then you can call it back by clicking T. Now, if you wanted anything to scale up in Blender, you could just hit control and while you're holding control, click the middle mouse button. Don't roll it, just click it. And then you can scale up any part of Blender. Another way you could do this and you could just scale up all of Blender as a whole is you go to edit preferences and you can go to interface and you can change the resolution scale. Additionally, if you ever want to pin any of your add ons, you can just hit the right click on top of any add on and click pin on any window. And then you can go to another window and it will still be there. And you can do this for as many as you would like. Now let's say if you ever wanted to change your end panel to the other side like this, what you would need to do is you would need to go to edit, then you'd go to preferences. And from there you'd go to interface and you'd hit developer extras. Just make sure that's checked from there. You can click F3 to search and you can click, you can type in flip and then you can flip region. 
and it will flip whatever bar you're currently hovering over. Well, that's it for the tutorial. I hope this helps and I hope you guys have fun customizing how your blender looks.